I'm going to be the first British human-like robot in space. I'm going to do my best to deliver messages from the children of Earth. Please check all the checklist. Is my battery on? Am I working okay? Is the camera on? Can you check the parachute? I don't want a hard fall. Sorry about the fuss, but I'm keen to have a successful mission. I'm named after Tim Peake, you know. If I had feet, I'd be following in his footsteps. Launch. I thought you said lunch. Well, spectacular view. I'm now at the height an airliner cruises at. Oh, it's colder than the Arctic in winter up here. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. I wish I had a friend with me. It's lonely up here. I've just noticed that the balloon is getting bigger and bigger. The balloon is going to burst at some point. I'm trying not to think about it too much. The air is so thin here. A shout would sound like a whisper. I wonder if I will even hear the burst. Oh no. I've just reminded myself of it. Greetings humans of Earth. I, Peaky, have come with a very important message. In this world there are people dying of starvation. There are people who have no homes and are living in streets in the cold, harsh weather. There has, and still is, war going on in the world. Many people die or get hurt every day in ways that are unnecessary. You can help stop this. At home you may bicker with siblings or friends. You may hurt each other. And there is no need for this. Anyone can help make peace in this world. No matter how big or small, you can make a difference. It's that simple. This message comes to you with help from human Nicole in fifth class at St. Joseph's School, Kinvera, Ireland. Thanks Nicole. The sky is really looking black now. Seriously the view is amazing here. Do you know that the sky is blue because of oxygen molecules? As the air here is so thin it appears black. My altitude is 28475.8 meters up. The clouds are far, far, far below. Find out about learning programming with me at your school on www.obert.co.uk. What's that popping sound? Oh dear. I think the balloon has burst. Help. Air friction needed. Down, down, down. Oh. I'll be smashed into a million splinters. I'm dropping like a stone. The parachute is doing almost nothing to slow me down because the air is so thin. The temperature is dash 40 degrees C. I'm a frobot. Phew, at last I've slowed down a bit. The parachute is working. Next time I want to travel first class. Why did the robot go into space? Because it was programmed by a human that didn't consider robot ethics.